So I heard you need a way across the river. Well, I got you covered. Let's go! So this bridge here you can see behind me is a uh, an interesting type of bridge. They call it like a moon bridge, I guess, because it's like a, a, a huge arc, as you can see here. So uh, boats can get underneath, and it's typically used in like the uh, Japanese or Chinese garden. And so I thought, you know, why not? Why not do it? Be cool. Awesome. It's stuff. So yeah, let's uh, show you how to do it. All right, to start out with, I'm gonna be using some spruce logs. And before you can start with building it, uh, just to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into here, uh, this, you might wanna measure the distance across uh, your river just to have an idea of how high you're, wanna, you're gonna make that bridge because that's gonna definitely make, make a difference. So like this typically right here is gonna be 10 blocks apart, uh, the river itself anyway. And of course you can make it any size you want. You can make it shorter or larger, longer if you want. Uh, just know that it's gonna be a little bit different in making it uh, depending on the size of the river. So uh, this one's gonna be 10 blocks wide. Uh, so to start out with, find your spot. And so I'm gonna build it uh, one more over like that, right there. And these are just kind of placement blocks for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a row of logs like that, like so. And we're gonna do three layers of this in a stepping pattern. And I can go ahead and get rid of these as well. And I think do it three times, like I said. That's not gonna do it the way I want it to. Oh, and get rid of those. So right now you have these, you can get rid of those. And I'm just gonna start with one side and then we can do the other side in a second. So you got this start here. And then from there, you can use some spruce slabs and place the platform there and one more across. And I think this is gonna go up one more like that. And that is the half point. Actually, this is 10, so we're gonna do it one more over like that. And that is a little bit more than half. So from there, I must have forgotten to fix that. To detail it here, go ahead and add some steps all the way up these logs until you get to this point. And then here, you're gonna go ahead and place some trap doors to get a little more detail. And then here, you're gonna place some campfire blocks and then of course you can use a shovel to stop the flames from happening right there and then starting on the sides because that's basically what you're gonna have right there it's this all right I went ahead and finished the other side so you can see what it looks like for now and this is kind of a typical arch you're gonna see so we're moving on with the stone brick sides we're gonna go ahead and place a block here and going up straight like this I think we're gonna go one more like that and get rid of that block. And then we can go across all the way and then back down. Like so. And then from there, we'll go ahead and place from two blocks out or three blocks from that one there, we're gonna place a stone brick wall. And then add some spruce fence gates here. And then here we're gonna go ahead and place some spruce fences going up the side. But at the very top here, you're gonna place another stone brick wall. Go ahead and place them on both sides, and then we're gonna fill in with the spruce fence gates in the middle. See that nice little cool arch effect there. And then the same thing back on the other side, you put some fence posts, and then two blocks out that wall, and then put the fence gates there. 
Alright, as you can see here, we got both sides of the railings completed. I went ahead and also made these too high because I feel like when you add lanterns to these, it'll make it look a little bit nicer, having little posts sticking up. Uh, and to add a little more transit, better transition going from these flat areas to the stairs, you can add a row of campfires and then add a layer, a row of trap doors. And that kind of gives you that slow transition up the stairs here, like so. All right, to add some more detail to this design, obviously this is not much of a complete arch. And to make it a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go ahead and take these two middle out and replace them with half slabs. A little better effect here. You can probably even get rid of a layer here in the middle uh, of the logs to make it a little more roundish as well, like so. So there, that's just that alone makes it look a lot, a lot nicer. What you can also do here is if you want this to lower a little bit more, of course you might not want it to, uh, you can add to this special little design that I've done on my example by adding a couple logs here and we're going to go ahead and place these, fill this up with some half slabs as well and you're probably thinking well that doesn't make it look any good because now it's not a circular pattern. You can go ahead and do the same thing here, add half slabs. It's looking a little bit better again. Might be able to do it here too. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad as well. And you just, just play around with it and see what you think looks good. Uh, the reason I'm doing this though is you can also add some trap doors right here and there. Now I think this looked better when you had an odd number, so maybe this is not the best way to do it, but uh, that's typically what I did on the other, on the, uh, probably the thing you saw earlier. You can even do it this on other things too, like you can go ahead and place it uh, here underneath, and that gives it a little bit more curvature there. And to even add a more design, you can even replace some of these stone brick with some moss. Just to make it kind of an older uh, feeling to it, and like it's been around for a while. And even add some mossiness to these walls here. Around there. Looking good, I think. And we'll do one more there, I think. That looks good. Mm. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> um, for the most part, that's done. And of course, you can add some awesome lanterns. And of course, there's a good few places you can put this. You can put them here where I typically put them. And it's not letting me put them there. There we go. On the four corners. And if you really want to, you can also place them up here as well. Bam, and there you go, you have a complete moon bridge for your world, and I think, pretty sure you can still get a boat and get underneath this. Yeah, hope you guys like this, uh, and if you do, if you want to see more of these kind of bridges, or other kind types of bridges, let me know, because uh, I do like doing other tutorials besides houses every once in a while, and I have some other ideas in the works. But yeah, let me know what you think, hit that like button if you enjoy it, and I will see you all next time.